After 13 years underground, cicadas are popping up all over the South and Midwest. CBS News correspondent Betty Wynn is here with more on the loud and what some would call a pesky insect, but not everyone. Well, have you heard the noise? It it's can be deafening. deafening at times. <laughs> you know, a lot of people do consider them just a nuisance. It's a distraction, all that buzzing. Well, I met one little boy who finds it quite fascinating. In fact, we spent the day getting up close and personal with a bunch of periodical cicadas. They are the sounds of summer, separated by more than a decade. And this summer, the periodical cicadas are returning to complete one of nature's more bizarre cycles. Ah! Nine-year-old Lucas Phillips wasn't even born the last time these cicadas invaded Simpson, Illinois. But he's been waiting. I better not let him fly. A boy with a fascination for bugs. Ooh, he's a really orange one. How did you get into liking bugs? I thought that was cool, and then I just got me sparked. And that spark turned into a fire. Oh my gosh. Lucas came to Simpson to learn about bugs from John Cooley. That's who traded Cass and I. An entomologist studying the sound these cicadas have waited 13 years to hear. Okay. The mating call. There's, There's the other decim species. What's the difference? They got black. Yeah, it's the black versus the orange. Aren't you a lucky guy? Found all three of these. We got yeah. three species there. If we just find the fourth species, you'll have all the 13 years right in your hand. Let's look around for that other species. What is it about a cicada that you just like so much? Well, they come out every 13 years. Mm -hmm. So I've been waiting for that. He's a big one. It's like a surprise every time they come out. It's big. Nature works in wonderful rhythms. These cicadas have been living underground for the last 13 years, nourishing on roots. Across the South and Midwest, they are now emerging with their symphony, a loud chorus with a singular purpose, an insect love song. You know, some people, Lucas, when they hear that sound, it's really annoying to them. But you, does it bother you at all? I, th I think it... I like the sound. Sounds nice to me. The sound of a summer's day and the joy of a boy's discovery. Yeah, see, there's a bunch right here. That there's a nymph. It's about to come out. I can't wait they're white. The next time the cicadas emerge in Illinois, Lucas will be 22, listening for his own love song. But for now, it's Boy Loves Bug, and it doesn't get any better. How cool is this, Lucas? I mean, you're finally here, and they have finally arrived. It's a whole lot better in Disneyland. No way. Even though I've never been to Disneyland, I, be I bet it's better. What a great kid. Very cool. Lucas. Yeah, you gotta okay. love bugs to say this is better than Disneyland. You do, you do. <laughs> so so we, know, we know why Lucas loves the bugs. Mm -hmm. Tell us, so these are, the where are these particular cicadas from? These are actually on loan uh, because they aren't native to New York. Uh, oh. They're in 15 southern states. And these have been on loan from Dr. Elias Bonieros, who's actually a cardiologist, but he loves bugs, just kind of like Lucas it's does. Yeah. And he went down to Missouri to get these, and he's had these for about 13 days. They only live for three weeks out of their natural yes. habitat. You hear it? Yes, they're Jeff definitely making sounds. Yeah. Okay. They're definitely this making sounds. This is not sounds. a mating sound, but these the only have about a, a week so left to live. I'm going to take this sucker out of so here. So they live Careful, they fly. for 13 years, then they come up just to mate, oh, and then they him, die. Him, they die, him, and then their, their offspring bury themselves underground. They so, live off of the tree sap. And then after 13 years, they come back alive. But you hear it? You can shake it just a little bit. Keep oh, shaking. I'm shaking. Yeah. Well, will he fly now? If I, he'll fly away if I just let him go? Um, let's yeah. not. <laughs> let's not try. But they're not harmful at all. They're, they're not crawling. harmful. No, they there won't bite you. Um, oh, he's a nice little guy. Yeah, they're but, nice But just guys. imagine walking and having one of Check having five to ten no, land on you. Like I said, I had an experience with these in Ohio get once, him, and it is. You could bring one home. You could bring one home for Jack. It grips you. Yeah, his grip is webby. They stick to you definitely, but they have to climb the trees oh. to get up in the trees. So much That's fun. Oh, yeah. Lightning bugs, kids, lightning bugs. <laughs>